Turning now to sports, Friar Fever taking over Chicago. The PC Friars flew to the Windy City yesterday ahead of their Sweet 16 matchup. And today, boosters, former players, fans, and other supporters made the trek. PC will play top-seeded Kansas in the regional semifinal tomorrow night. Supporters got to fly on one of the Patriots' planes as they had to cheer on the Friars. Before they boarded, they talked to us about the plane and the team. That's big time. That's big time. In fact, that we get to go on a Super Bowl Patriots plane is even more amazing than a regular charter flight. There's a lot of Friar fans who've been with us all year long. The, the dunk has been unbelievable. The students have been fabulous, and, and the fans come to every game. Providence is buzzing every game, and it's a terrific team. Sports director Maury Hirschgordon is live in Chicago to cover PC's run in the Sweet 16 tournament. Maury caught up with the team and joins us now live from inside the United Center. Maury. Mike Shannon, yes, this historic Providence season continues here in Chicago. It's the Sweet 16 tomorrow night with top seeded Kansas. We were here at the United Center bright and early this morning for Providence's practice. We caught up with head coach Ed Cooley and the team afterwards, and they say the success on the court all begins in the locker room because of the chemistry. If I'm coaching issues, I'm not coaching players. And we haven't had any issues, and it's a reason why we're doing what we're doing. For Ed Cooley, the 2022 Providence Friars have been a dream to coach. I've been a head coach for 16 years. I've been coaching for 28 years. I've never had a group that has been this connected. His roster littered with experience, professionalism, and maturity. We all have the same goal. We all want the same thing, and that's to win and survive in this tournament. It's that focus, that determination, a big reason why they're in the Sweet 16. Um, we have this model that says us, we together, family friars, and that's what we really go by. Us, we together, family friars. It all means the same, whether it's a fifth year forward like Nate Watson or a first year wing like Justin Minaya. The way that these guys have really gelled together so quickly is just a testament to how good we can be. I had no problems like fitting in with the team. like. That there was no there was no egos, there was no jealousy involved. And I kind of felt that as soon as I got on campus. The Friar locker room is a melting pot for all, regardless of prior stops, prior successes, or prior failures. If there's 40 minutes on the clock, there's a chance to accomplish the common goal. We've all had our time in college. We all experienced different things. And, you know, we took all those experiences and brought it here to Providence, and, you know, that's helped us a lot. How does that help when you get out on the court in those pressure-tight situations late in games? Oh, man, because we're playing for each other. It's a lot more fun when you're playing for everybody and everybody's on the same page. I feel like that was, that's what makes us special. You know, we play for each other. We have a lot of fun while doing it, and we win. And if the Friars do pick up one more win, they tie the most ever for a single season in program history with 28. And then they would have an opportunity to set history on Sunday in the Elite Eight to reach the Final Four. Exciting time here in Chicago. We will have plenty more coverage with the Friars coming up new tonight at 6. Inside the United Center, Maury Hirsch Gordon, 12 News.